Wow. Hey guys, uh, in this video I am going to show how to add a select option for uh, any cars in react. So for the demo I have a list of countries uh, where I give an option for user to choose countries and submit it with a tick mark for uh, indicating that uh, the uh, uh, country is selected. Once I click on the submit I will be taking all the countries that user select and display it in our box. For this I have a list of countries uh, that is uh, coming from a JSON file. So based on this I am looping it and I am displaying the whole uh, countries uh, list. So I am assigning that uh, JSON data to the state. Now I am just going to map this countries list before adding it to the state. And uh, I am going to introduce a new key in that uh, objects to actually know whether uh, this element has been selected or not. So for that uh, actually uh, I am using map function. And uh, selected is false by default. So that means uh, if selected is false means that uh, no uh, map is selected. So in the loop I have this block uh, where I return the country, country's card. So, so based on this uh, value key uh, selected, actually I am going to show an icon uh, with a tick mark. Actually I am going to use a font or some icon for uh, the uh, icon, image. So I am just going to apply a green color for all this uh, icon. So to mark this as selected, first I need to add a on click listener for uh, the whole card. When a user clicks on this card, it will trigger a function uh, where I will go and uh, change the selected key of that particular country in the state. So then I am creating a function called uh, toggle country select and I am passing the index uh, of the uh, current object. So based on the syntax, uh, it's fairly simple to actually uh, change the status. I'm just going to toggle the selected parameter in the state. Countries of IEX equal to not uh, countries list of selected. That means it will reverse the current uh, state of the boolean value of uh, that country. So now I'm again uh, setting this to the state. So fairly simple it's. So uh, whenever I click on the card I will update the state I uh, will toggle the state with true. Then it will uh, display the tick mark. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, see, we are seeing the green image. That means this countries are selected. So whenever I click on that country again, uh, it will uh, toggle again from true to false. Now I'm just going to add a click listener for summit, and in a function I'm going to iterate the state uh, countries list object. Sorry, array. And I'm going to take all the selected uh, countries to display it as a string in alert box. I am just taking the countries list 
and I'm going to map this and I'm going to push that uh, selected countries in uh, the selected countries array. I'm going to map the countries list. So here I'll be checking if uh, the current country's uh, selected parameter is true or false. If it is true, I will push that uh, country name to the selected countries list. And then finally I will uh, show it in the alert box. Now oh, I'm just going to uh, alert this. Actually, I'm going to join this array and uh, show it as a comma separated uh, country list. Set country start or join. Now let's go to the demo and uh, see this in action. So I'm going to choose Ukraine, United States, United Kingdom and I'm going to submit it. So now if you see uh, uh, the country that I chose was uh, actually uh, displayed in the alert box. So let's say I choose Red Sahara and see yes Sahara is added to that object sorry that array so that it's displayed in the alert box so this kind of uh, card or selection kind of uh, the select box is uh, very uh, easy to implement in uh, your projects so make use of it uh, guys Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe for more videos like this.